them God woke and were alive, but what of the gods? Solid ground materializes beneath your feet. You need to go see the Meister. Oh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood, you know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it. Uh, a home, that's it. She's got a home in Driftwood. Give me your map. There you are. Tell her I sent you and she'll handle the rest. A Magister guard approaches. Behind her, on the gallows, two lizards. One in a Magister uniform hangs dead from her neck. The other hangs from her hands, still alive. Step away from the prisoner, elf! Release me! She's hanging by her hands because the boss don't want her dead just yet. She's a tough one, Magister Seaver. She's a seeker and she's a bloody traitor. What have you heard? Have you heard that they killed our beloved Alexander? She was part of the Order. Knew Alexander personally. Alexander trusted her, at least as far as you can trust a lizard. This is really... To repay that trust, this... the Meister gave Alexander up to his enemies. She wasn't there when Alexander fell, but White Magister Raymond uncovered the truth. She's as guilty as any of them, and I reckon she got off lightly. I'd have had her flayed alive with a salted bullwhip. You're going to... What, now? She betrayed Alexander. I'd sooner die than free her. I'll regret this, I know I will. All right, I'll stand aside. The lizard hangs from the gibbet, her face blooded and her scales discoloured. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. Welcome to Driftwood, God Woken. One bloody eye cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased... <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well then, cut me down. There is work to be done. Or indeed, you could stand there gawping as if your master had just ordered you to fly. Whatever fits your purpose, my dear. The Meister bares her teeth, stained a deep pink by her blood, and growls. Now, best scurry off before that Magister wanders back. Meet me at my home in Driftwood, and we can see what you're made of. The Meister sits slumped in a chair. It is not enough to be God-woken in order to ascend to divinity. There is a process. As she speaks, the Meister uncorks a vial of shimmering liquid, sauce. She lets a couple of drops fall on her hand, but instead of infusing with her body, they quickly evaporate on her scales. She stares at the empty spot on her palm for a long moment before turning back to you, continuing as if nothing had happened. A process by which God-woken may ascend. It begins with discovering your deepest self, delving into your own soul. Enthusiasm? On a weekday? My word. We shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen Godwoken, but becoming divine requires more than a supernatural pat on the head. Come, Godwoken. It is time to see just how awake you are. Fortunately, the Magisters pay as much attention to art as they do to fashion. Kindly remove that painting from the wall. I pray my instructions will not be too technical for you. <clears throat> Push the button. 
Your talent for following simple instructions fills me with wonder and pride. Now, kindly go to the vault and enter the combination. I shall call it out as you go. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Gleaming under the dim light, the metallic dial almost seems to wink at you. Taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Excellent. Follow me. Your time is at hand. Ancient runes, weird contraptions. This place is an arcanist's dream. Feel free to look about while I catch my breath. Come speak to me when you wish to proceed. And try not to break anything in the meantime. The Meister is examining her wounds. Very well, then. Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal, although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard, sauce in the glowing fountain, ritual in the tome by the bookcase, even an incinerator to provide a flame. Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular order. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and drudene oil. You gather up the black root, obsidian lance and ancient bowl and kick the door of the cupboard closed. suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Bathed in the half-light of these starless barons, you spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. It looks haggard and weak, its very voice but a feeble echo of your own. My chosen, come, come closer, so that you may see me as I truly am. Look me in the eyes. The apparition clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into their accustomed spectrum. Blind eyes. Shine brightly. Speak the spell. And see. strange mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the god Ralic in all his spectral glory. We are I now. 
The spells you need to know I will teach you when you are ready. But first, you must learn to channel the Source in greater volumes. That is why you need to seek Masters of the Source. You must make them teach you, so that you may become a Master in turn. So, return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the Source. Once you have, you may return to me here. Best of luck my champion. The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. I know exactly what must be done. You must find a master of source. And I could have helped you once, but no longer. So we must seek alternatives. Alas, the only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turn into meat puppets are those too dangerous or cunning for the Magisters to contain. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After a few moments, she regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner of her mouth. No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from them. The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers. Especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. You stranger. Magister Carver's got all the information he needs locked up downstairs, so don't think you'll get a reward for peddling hearsay. Of course, sir. Right away. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. As you approach, Ralik greets you with a salute, though his face is marred by a pained grimace. My, my. How you positively brim with source. No wonder. After all the adventures you have had. All the things you've had to do. Have you no respect, daughter? No respect at all. You should. A sudden shudder jolts through his body so violently that he drops to his knees, stunned into silence. He whispers that there's really no need for your assistance, but the weight of his arms around you tells a different tale. An ancient curse escapes from his lips, spoken so forcefully that for a brief moment all light recedes into the webs of darkness. I have told you before, the void is stronger than ever. But so are you. I can sense the expanse of source inside you. You are ready to learn the spell I've yearned to teach you. The spell you will need when we reach the Well of Ascension. I have given you eyes that see the source. Now I will give you the teeth to take it. Ralik smiles, and you notice for the first time two vampire-like fangs glistening beneath his upper lip. A gulf of magic envelops you, and you feel a sudden insatiable hunger for source. Go on. I'm here for you. Give in to your hunger.
It is super natural. Do not heed me or any other, only your own lust for power, just like a god should. Go on, devour me. Though your spell tore through him like a spear through flesh, Rallick looks grimly happy, if haggard. You speak the spell with brash ferocity, like I knew you would, my champion. Oh, do you still not see? Even though you are a god woken, destined to be a god. Let me tell you the one truth about what it means to be a god. It is to be the lion in a world of lamps. It is about power. And power is not given, it is taken. With your all-seeing eyes and your all-consuming teeth, you can see the souls of the dead. And now you can feed from them to your hungry heart's content. So feed, for you will starve until you finally feast upon the well of ascension. No, your soul must grow bigger still. Your inner self become a vaster expanse so that it may house divinity. There are more masters of the source, more aspects of the source to learn. The hunt continues. Just you hurry. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. As the world fades away, my champion, you've come not a moment too soon. It's here! Even here! We must hurry now. We must race toward the well with all the determination of the eagle diving for its prey. Your prey lies on a far off shore, at the heart of the Nameless Isle. It is a place no one can reach unless their soul becomes their compass. He places a hand over your heart, and you suddenly feel it. An unmistakable pull in a new and distant direction. The battle for divinity is about to begin in earnest. The other gods and their chosen will try to outflank us, just like we must outflank them. But I will be with you, guide you, stand by you. Together we will prevail, you and I. The void will be overcome, and you will be the god of gods. The end is nigh. Don't fail us now. You jolt back to the world, stumbling forward. Dark smoke surrounds you, hanging in the air like black fog. This feels wrong. The Meister's cry cuts through the haze. You look up just in time to see what steps out of the shadows. I always knew I'd die for Rivalon. I just didn't expect it was going to be in a small basement. In Driftwood, of all places. At least now you know where to go. Ah, there you are. Her eyes flash with something. Anger, perhaps, or fear. I... 
But never mind. We better focus on the task at hand. She looks straight ahead, ignoring you. Well, aren't you industrious? Of course, not everyone on the ship's manifest has returned, as you can see. Ready to set sail when you are, Your Holiness. Now, on to the interesting part. After many adventures, the party finally reached the place where Godwo can go to become divine. But more surprises and difficult choices awaited.